Welcome to part one of the Hog Magazine Project Bike. Over the course of the next four issues of Hog Magazine, we're going to be building our very own Project Rushmore motorcycle. We've got a whole lot of really exciting things planned for this bike, from styling and performance and touring upgrades. We're going to be dyno and drag strip testing it, and we're going to be taking it out on the road to use it at, at hog events and rallies, and hopefully you'll, you'll get a chance to see it out on the road and also in the pages of the magazine. But we're starting right here in the Harley-Davidson Styling Studio, where Chief Stylist Ray Dre is doing some really cool custom pinstriping to get the project started. My name is Ray Dre, Chief Stylist, and what I do is, uh, w along with the great styling team, we design kick-ass motorcycles, right? The thought behind the bike here, when I was uh, designing this all in my head, was taking the existing paint job and how could I subtly add not only some pinstriping, but some graphics that would help really look like this was a complete custom paint job. So the logo that I have in mind will actually have a very bold masculine stroke. And I'll carry forward some of these cues from the new hog logo. I'm using the D sender of the Y to come over like it normally does, but then it also takes up that space and relates to the eye, and so it's the dot in the eye. So from first glance, when you see this type all done, it'll all make sense because of where these things are placed, but it's how they're integrated together is what helps give it the unique character. My approach to really designing anything is always with the intent of serving the brand. What is this thing that you're designing for? The piece of tracing paper, what I'm doing here is actually transferring the design that I just drew up onto the tank. And, and on this tracing paper, the, the advantage of this is it allows you to get the exact image on both sides of the motorcycle tank. Well, there is a, a uh, a science, if you will, behind the craft of sign painting. And so now, you know, with the, the advent of the computer, everybody's a sign painter, everybody's an expert, and it's, it's all just by uh, pulling a font off the computer. It's really easy to take these different letter styles out there and for an amateur or novice to create a sign with it and not know the rules of good design, you know, the positive and negative spaces of the characters and, and how they relate to one another and all those little things add up to make a big difference. Pinstriping has, has received such a comeback. I think really has to do with the fact with the amount of shows on cable TV related to custom car building, custom bike building, and they have these the custom painters that come on the show. The Hog Project bike was a, a project that Ray Dray asked me to work on with him. That's kind of a combination of a couple of our different techniques and styles. You know, Ray had put the, the new Hog logo on the front of the fairing along with some gold leaf text on the side of the tank. Put this traditional style, a little bit more formal pinstriping on the front of the fenders and on the top of the rear fender. Gold leaf, because of them sharing the, the more monochromatic kind of uh, common hue with the, the golds, the oranges, and so forth. It really sits well on this, on the Amber Whiskey, and together, it'll look like the whole bike has been uniquely custom painted. I started pinstriping when I was um, 12 or 13 years old. My dad sold fire trucks, and fire trucks always have pinstriping, so there was a little bit of a connection, and. By the time I was 13 or 14, I was restriping fire trucks in the small town I grew up in and found out that it ends up on hot rods and motorcycles and took off from there and just kept on going. A subtle dry brush effect to give the motorcycle a little more movement to the design 
and bringing just a, a subtle texture to the overall motorcycle. Something very quick, has a very spontaneous look. The greatest joy that I get doing this dream job every day is knowing that what you're doing on these motorcycles, designing them, puts so many smiles on so many faces around the world. That's what does it for me. Pinstriping fits in the Harley culture. When you think of the very central purpose of the brand and the value that we give to our customers is about personalization. It is about the experience. Whether you're talking about the hog experiences or the opportunity to really, through self-expression, do something cool on my bike. It might be hanging up parts and accessory component on there. It could be going to a rally and having a striper personalize it. When you see that Harley-Davidson name on the side of the tank, there was so much thought and it was important that from the, from the very start that we created something that was special so that when the customer sees it for the first time, it has a unique character to it that sets it apart from anything else that they've ever seen. In our minds, that is the most important thing on the motorcycle is our name.